3D and sum squared, we're going to write some quadratic functions in vertex form. This is kind of a step up from the last one. And remember, vertex form is this guy right here. So notice that it's in ax squared plus bx plus c form, and we're going to get it into this form. To do that, we complete the square. It's a little bit different than when we completed the square when we were solving quadratic equations. So if you know those steps, it's going to be a little bit different. The first thing we would do is make sure that c is kind of moved away a little bit, but notice we don't have a c here. The next thing we would do is make sure our a is 1. But instead of dividing like you did when you solved by completing the square, we're factoring out that coefficient of a. I mean that coefficient a. So we're factoring out a negative 2, which means, remember, when we factor out, we've really just divided by negative 2. So dividing this by negative 2 gets me an x squared. Dividing this by negative 2 gets me a 5 halves. So the next step is to take half of b. Well, half of this is negative 5 fourths. And then square it, which is 25 sixteenths. And we're going to add it here. Whoops, 25 sixteenths. Now, let me rewrite that so you can see it a little bit better. When we add 25 sixteenths in here, we've really, because there's a negative 2 out here, we've really added a negative 25 eighths. If we've added a negative 25 eighths, then we have to minus, I mean, yeah, we have to add a 25 eighths out here. Because neg if we distribute this negative 2, a negative 2 times 25 sixteenths, if we cancel there, we get a negative 25 eighths. And if we've subtracted 25 eighths from this part, we have to add 25 eighths to that part. And now we factor. So down here, we'll factor it. So we get negative 2 times x. Remember the shortcut method is you take the square root of that, that sign, and the square root of that. And then plus 25 eighths. So if you wanted to know what your vertex is, remember you take the opposite of that h, and it's 25 over 8. So this is our vertex. But this would be our vertex form. Okay, let's try this one. So we're going to write down x squared minus 2 thirds x. And we're going to move that 26 ninths over there. a is 1, so we don't have to worry about factoring anything out. But I'm going to put that in parentheses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this, so over here. When you take half of 2 thirds, you get 1 third. Then I have to square it. That's 1 ninth. So if I add 1 ninth here, I have to subtract 1 ninth out here. Then I factor. So y equals x. Remember, it's the square root of that, the square root of that. Whoops, that sign. So it's a negative 1 third squared. And then when we combine these, there is a common denominator, so I get 27 ninths. And 27 ninths actually reduces to 3. So my vertex form is x minus 1 third squared minus 3. And the actual vertex would be 1 third comma negative 3. So that is how you put things in vertex form. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.